Dustin. That's true. Very true. Well, a voter says he may have put a target on his back by putting a sticker on his car. Still ahead, the unexpected response he's received from neighbors and other drivers because of his political views. Plus an amateur photographer. I'm not taking it off, so I'll put four more on. Standing behind the sticker, a Portland man says his support of presidential candidate Donald Trump put a big target on his back and his car. He says he's being attacked for having an opinion. And he says it all started because of a sticker he put on his car. So this is the first window that was uh, smashed out. It's a car that's gotten a lot of attention over these last few months. And its owner believes it all comes down to this. So I get lots of people, you know, honking, giving me thumbs up at the window going, yeah, go Trump. And then um, I talk to people, you know, and parking lots are like that too. And then um, I get people just like screaming the worst names imaginable at me. And I don't, don't even know these people. Cameron says he's become a target over Trump. And there's the sign. He says a neighbor screamed at him for putting up this lawn sign, so he took it down. He's on his third bumper sticker after it was vandalized twice, and his driver's side window was smashed out back in August. He thought the window could have been a fluke until he woke up Tuesday morning and it happened again. Both times his car was parked right outside his southeast Portland home, and nothing was taken from inside his car. He says his political viewpoints won't be taken either. I'm not taking it off, so I'll put four more on. <laughs> I just, uh, I'm not going to be bullied. I'm not a Hillary supporter or a Bernie supporter, but I know there's tons of them around here, and if you want to support them, that's fine, and I'm not going to have a problem with that. I'm not about to in scream insults at you. I'm not about to, you know, break or damage your property. Um, so I just feel like it's kind of a, an unfair double standard around here. <laughs> And by his beliefs there, uh, Cameron spent more than $500 to replace the smashed windows in his car, but remains hopeful that people will eventually calm down.